Hello, welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, what I want to do is I want to talk about a plan that I've got. It's a plan that I've had for a good few months now. But with all the things that have been going on, I've kind of been umming and ahhing, umming and ahhing, and umming and ahhing. And I've kind of decided that I want to go ahead. So let's cue the intro and grab yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a beer or a wine and a snack and we will have a chat about it. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so the big, big plan is, and like I said, I've been putting this off for some months, mostly because of the finances of doing it, what's been going on in the country, being able to get it, etc., etc. So the plan is, what I wanted to do, and I'll, sum up, I'll go back a little bit to the start, but as you saw, if you've seen it, you've seen my kind of monkey cycle ride where I rode to a mountain and up it in Wales. And I had a cracking time, and I've got to say, it was brilliant. But I had a big rucksack on day one and I was in a lot of pain just to get to Wales. And I know it's part of the adventure, but one thing I've been doing is spending quite a lot of money on hotel costs and being able to sort of stay at places. Like my the big adventure just in hotels cost me over a thousand pounds. So that's a lot of money when you've got to start sitting there adding sort of your meals at night and etc. and etc. to it. So one of the ideas I had to do with the monkey cycle especially was to create the monkey cycle camper van so i can put the monkey cycle in the back i can ride across the uk across europe etc get to some of these really exciting challenging places to be able to film the monkey cycle rides and the whole point of it is you'll have the blog with the van all the journey all the stuff going on the talk about it the excitement all put into one place now if anybody's kind of done that thing where they've gone brilliant idea and then you look at the cost of it and you go whoa that's a lot more than I thought kind of thing that went from a head original was this fan as you would oh sorry just I've got to say this as you all do you sit there and go whoa, a really nice newest cool camper van be awesome and then I saw the price of them and the thing is the price of them is crazy and I mean a good one starts at about 40 grand upwards, some serious bucks. And I'm there going like, whoa, that's well above what I could afford in any way. So then I've kind of gone through different things I've been thinking about. And I've watched a lot of YouTube videos about people basically buying a van and making their own. So I've kind of got this kind of cool option in my head now where I could buy a long wheelbase high top van and create the monkey cycle and have it for a garage, a bed above the top of it, or like cool kitchen side cupboards and you know, build it. There's a big thing with this, I don't actually have any skills in building one of these things, but hey, learn as you go, watch YouTube videos, come up with ideas and create, boom. And if it all goes wrong, hey up, start again. That's kind of where I've been going because I just can't afford something fantastic and new. But then I kind of thought more about the monkey bike and I'm like going, I love that idea. But then I love the idea of vintage camper, a cool vintage camper for the monkey cycle to make the monkey camper would kind of suit and be quite exciting. So I'm kind of now torn between these two ways and I kind of feel like buy something a bit retro, old, spend a bit of time doing it up, make it into the monkey cycle mobile and have the whole journey with the retro camper and the monkey cycle going off and doing challenges or do we become like the A-team and build a bus? Now I've already got visions of myself and I'm sure you'll appreciate this, you know, a massive saw in my hand, a big lump of wood, sawing it away, sweat dripping off of me, whip off my top, crack open the Coca-Cola can, drink the drink, the women will come running or they won't because I don't have the six pack. But anyway, there's kind of visions of me working on the van in my head and I've got visions on both aspects of how cool this van is going to look. Now, I want to be completely honest here, I don't have loads of finances at the minute. We are currently still, at least in this country, in a version of lockdown. So going to buy a vehicle, collect a vehicle is going to be extremely difficult, but there is ways around it. So what I'm going to do from this, I'm now going to walk away, I'm going to jump on Flea Bay, and I'm going to spend some time hunting at my different options and putting a few cheeky bids in and kind of see what we end up with. 
and I'll pay for it to be transported and delivered to the house is the plan and again we'll see what we end up with this could be one huge mistake this could be one huge thing that would be so cool to do or this could just just I don't know this could just just not work out but anyway so the plan is I'm now like I said gonna go away I'm gonna bid on something and we're gonna buy something and we are gonna create the monkey cycle camper so please if you haven't subscribed please give it a thumbs up and please please don't forget that I have a patron link I have patrons that help financially support this channel and it's fantastic of them if you want to become a financial supporter you know see my videos first give you a shout out etc etc like that please check the patron link please if you can give a couple of pound a month buy me a coffee it all helps towards things and the other side of it is the helmet head t-shirt store there's a link in the description for that as well click on that buy a t-shirt buy a mug even buy a pillow they're there and i get a little bit of commission from that and that helps fund this channel and you could even look at it that you're helping fund the the monkey sorry the monkey camper so like I said, please, please, thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And in the next episode, hopefully, there'll be a development. Maybe the van will appear. Maybe I'll report one. Maybe you'll see me bidding. Maybe I'll lose loads of money and it will go wrong. You'll find out in the next episode. So, hey, until then, ride safe. Keep safe. Remember, always be happy and ride a motorcycle. Take care. Bye-bye.